Welcome back to the channel Gadgets for Gentlemen. My name is Lawrence. In this video, I'm going to show you two alternative metal bracelets that you can purchase that will fit with your Orient Ray, whether you have the black version or the blue version. As you all know, the Orient Ray comes either standard uh, equipped with a metal bracelet or with a rubber strap. And if you want to throw your Orient Ray on, in my opinion, a higher quality metal bracelet, then this video is the video for you to watch. So today I am wearing my Seiko SKX-013 and I wear it here on a Super J. Lewis um, metal bracelet by Miltat, which I purchased off Amazon and I will leave a link in the description. So in this video, um, let's make some space for the original uh, metal bracelet by Orient, which I think is, is quite a good uh, metal bracelet, but I simply don't uh, like it that much. So we have the Orient um, uh, logo right here, and it has this um, little clasp, which is quite good. And then you have these pushers, and that allows you to open this um, metal bracelet. As you can see, this is uh, press materials. As you can see, there is a few micro adjustments, so this way you can easily uh, find a, a good fit. Um, there's three holes, so you should be able to find a uh, solid fit with this bracelet, no matter your uh, wrist size. You can size it pressing out these pins, following those arrows. And here we have hollow end links that um, are fitted to the uh, case of the Orient. And quite uh, thin uh, spring bars. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, this is a 22 millimeter uh, lug width. It tapers down to about 20 millimeters at the buckle. Which means, I think it's elegant, it goes from 22 to 20. So there's a little bit of a, a taper. So this is the original metal bracelet for Orient that comes on the uh, ray. Uh, as you see here, um, there is a, a combination of, of brushed and polished parts. Uh, I think it's consisting of three units. So here there's a link, there's a center link, an outer link. And in that uh, center link, there is a bit of polishing right there. Um, yeah, I don't think it's a bad bracelet, but I never fell in love with this one. But uh, definitely uh, for this entry level watch, I think it's a good bracelet. Now, what I uh, like to do is um, uh, try out this uh, Miltat metal bracelets. I'm sure there's other uh, alternatives, but I'm just a big fan of um, Miltat. Again, this is the uh, uh, Super J Lewis and this one has a straight end link. Uh, what it means is um, the way this one fits to your Orient is um, it, it, it fits to the Orient with a gap as you can see right here. Let me try to explain the difference. For example with this uh, Seiko you can see that this metal bracelet is really designated for this particular case. So that end link really curves uh, with the case. It really connects with this case. So that is the end link. With this uh, Miltat bracelet, you can see that um, this end link does not um, uh, connect to this case like, um, uh, let's say specifically for this case, but it will fit uh, to most cases that have a 22 millimeter lug width and you can see the gap. So if you don't mind that gap and if you do want uh, a metal bracelet that will fit on uh, several of your 22 millimeter uh, watches, for example, the Glycine Combat Sub, your Seiko SKX-007, in theory, you can just buy one of these uh, metal bracelets and that will do. You can easily uh, swap them out by removing those spring bars, super easy. 
So this is one option, which is a straight end uh, Super J. Lewis metal bracelet by Niltat. Um, the great thing is uh, they have solid links. Uh, they have quite some flexibility here, much more flexibility than the uh, original bracelet because these links are quite uh, larger and these are so much more uh, flexible. They have uh, screws, so if you want to take out a link to size it, uh, it's so easy with a small Phillips screwdriver, removing those. It has um, also a um, buckle with three micro adjustments. So that is actually quite similar to uh, the original metal bracelet that also has those uh, three micro adjustments. It has a pusher, but the biggest uh, or a big difference here is this part. This is like so much higher quality, the way this is machined. Uh, also, it has this little pin here. It has this fold over clasp. That is, I would say, similar in terms of quality compared to the original bracelet. But if you close it like so, you will notice that this is like so much better machined. Um, I do think the clasp is just a little bit thicker compared to the original one. But all in all, you get like so much more quality. And I think wearing this on the wrist just looks, um, I think it looks much better. So that is the uh, Super J. Lewis straight end by Miltat on the Black Orient Ray 2. And I think it looks wonderful and it's so much more flexible to wear. I really like how this shiny uh, center link um, matches with that shiny bezel that you can see right here. So definitely this is one of my favorite combinations. But yeah, there is a bit of a gap here. So if you're not a fan, then there is a, a, another option. But before heading to that second option, and well, there's plenty of options, but I, I limit this video to just two options. Um, let me just give you some dimensions. So again, 22 millimeters at the uh, lugs. Now let's see how this one, if, it, if this one tapers. Let me just uh, verify. And as you can see, the taper is to 18 at the buckle. So I think this is so much more elegant from 22 to 18. So as you can see, it really tapers down uh, a lot. Um, so that is the Super J. Lewis um, with this um, standard uh, clasp. Yeah, this is called a diver clasp according to the website of Niltet. So that is the Super J. Lewis straight end for the Orient Ray. Now let's proceed with the second option. Um, and this is also, I think, an interesting combination. This uh, bracelet is really designated for the Orient Ray 2. So the end link, this solid end link, really fits quite well with the Orient Ray 2 case. At least that's the uh, experience that I'm having here. Um, fits very, very well, I would say. And as you can see, that end link does extend the uh, lock to lock distance of the Orient Ray quite a bit. So be aware of that. If you, uh, by comparison, look at this bracelet, like this really curves down directly on your wrist. The end link here does not extend the lock to lock distance. I think at all, at all, not at all, but this one does like extend that distance a bit. So it will wear a bit larger on the wrist. Now, what we have here is, um, is um, these uh, links that are, I would say a little bit similar to the oyster style that you can see here, but smaller. And also this one consists of three pieces, one, uh, two, and three, but it wears a little bit similar to the Jubilee or Super J. Lewis, should I say because it's, I think it's more flexible than the original uh, metal bracelet. So we have that fat uh, end link here, and then we have these um, smaller links right here. And also here you can see 
uh, I think quite a strong taper. So again, 22 at the lug. And I think here at this buckle, I think it's very, very um, uh, tapered. Let me just try and measure this up. I think, oh, this is also 18. So very similar to the, um, to the Super J Lewis right here. That one also had a taper to 18, 22 to 18. So that's a stronger taper than the original bracelet that had a uh, 22 to 20. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a different clasp. I, I love this clasp. I think it's the best clasp uh, because of um, the, uh, the whole like uh, option of so many micro adjustments as you can see right here. There is uh, three, there's six holes. So f for any wrist size, like there's so much options to make a proper fit. Again, double locking system with these uh, pushers machined parts and also when you press it down you can hear that like it's so secure and again this part is like not the best part of the bracelet I would say it's it's not flimsy but it's not that heavy duty um, like you would see in some bracelets beautiful machined parts and as you can see here um, this metal bracelet really fits well in my uh, experience to this case and it was easy to uh, fit it to the case. And again, just like with the uh, Super J Lewis, we have those screws that is like so easy to take out um, links and size it to the wrist. Now let me throw it on the wrist. Super sturdy. Um, if you, yeah, let's zoom out a little bit. So that is the, um, I, I forgot to give you the name. Let me look up the name. So this uh, metal bracelet, this one is called the Antmill uh, 316L stainless steel. This, this uh, clasp is called a V-clasp brushed. And as you can see here, it retails for about $87. But I think you can find a better deal on Amazon. Thickness of 4 millimeters, it has a weight of 106 grams. And here we have the Super J Lewis on the same website also 316L stainless steel and also 22 to 18 it has a thickness of 3.4 millimeters so the um, uh, Super J Lewis is thinner compared to the um, end mill bracelet those are the names of the um, of the uh, bracelets uh, this one was the um, end mill I bought this one of eBay Germany. I will leave, leave a, a link in the description to my Amazon store where you can purchase both, both of these um, metal bracelets. So this one was the Miltat for the Orient Ray. It comes in some very nice uh, presentation and plenty of, um, uh, of, of links. So I have 6.3 inches wrists, maybe also worth noting. Let's give you one final uh, shot of like uh, wearing these two bracelets. Uh, what I like about the end mill, um, this is for me a new design. I never worn a bracelet like this. It reminds me a little bit of an oyster, but still it's different. What I dislike about this bracelet is this end link. I think it's, it's, it's very long. I think it, it, it could have been made uh, smaller. But, um, and also what I like is that end link really fits beautiful with this case. So it truly looks like this is like an original bracelet. Um, also, what I like about this um, metal bracelet is that clasp, that V clasp is just uh, so good with that, um, with that V and like the whole bunch of micro adjustments. So that is the end mill. In this configuration, the uh, watch on this uh, bracelet weighs 160 grams let's compare that to the super j lewis with the orient ray 140 grams interesting so in this configuration the super j lewis miltad on the orient ray with the black dial is only 140 grams 
So wearing this um, Super J Lewis, uh, I saved 20 grams compared to the uh, end mill with the Orient uh, Ray 2 Blue. Um, what do I like about the Super J Lewis? I just love this design. I really like Jubilee bracelets. What I also like is the fact that um, with that end link, you'll be able to fit this to um, your other 22 millimeter watches. For example, the Glycine, the 007 or 009 by Seiko. Um, what do I dislike about this um, bracelet? I think the clasp. I do think that that uh, V clasp, um, I think is so much better because of those um, uh, micro adjustments. Uh, this one is also longer, which I think looks better and it looks sturdier. I, I just prefer that clasp. Um, what else? I don't think you can you can go wrong with this one. It's just beautiful. So those are two options. If you are looking for, um, uh, I would say an affordable, high quality metal bracelet for the Orient Ray, which is a fantastic watch. Um, yeah, you, you could look into these things and I will leave links in the descriptions. Again, this video is not to uh, bash the uh, Orient Ray original metal bracelet or rubber strap, but I just uh, prefer wearing the Orient Ray on either of uh, these two uh, metal bracelets. I think uh, it gives me so much more joy. But uh, yeah, maybe I'm biased because I like this uh, metal bracelets by Miltet so much. So I have a whole bunch and um, yeah, here we have the Super J Lewis with the uh, V-clasp on the uh, SKX-013. I think it's absolutely amazing. That was uh, this little video. If you have any uh, questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day and see you soon.